guys, welcome to the live session. Here I have an interesting math Olympiad question which says x square minus x cube equals 12 and what is the value of x? So what do you think? How would we solve this to find the values of x? And there will be how many values of x? First of all, there will be three values of x as the highest power here is 3. It's a cubic equation, so we'll have three values of x. Let's start solving for that. So first of all, I'm going to write it as, bring all the terms to one side. So it will be like x squared minus x cubed, and then 12 I'm bringing that side. That will be equal to negative 12 equals 0. And next, now what I'm going to do is split this 12 in two terms. Why I'm going to do like this, you'll come to know. Here I have x squared minus x cubed. And then negative 12, I'm going to write it as negative 4 and negative 8, which is equal to 0. When you add, add them both, negative 4 and negative 8, you'll get negative 12. Now, let me write it down again. x squared minus x cubed. Negative 4, I'm going to write in terms of 2. That will be negative 2 squared. And negative 8 will be negative 2 cubed, which is equal to 0. Now, let me pair them up. So here I'll have x squared minus 2 squared. Then I'll have negative x cubed, negative 2 cubed equals 0. The next thing what I'm going to do is, here, I have this term, right? I'm going to write it as it is, x squared minus 2 squared. And here, I'm going to take out the negative sign common. So, I'm left with x cubed plus 2 cubed equals to 0. Now, this is in the form of a squared minus b squared. And this is in the form of a cubed plus b cubed. All right. So here, the formula for this one is a plus b times a minus b. And here I have a cube plus b cube as, sorry, let me remove this. I'm writing this part and this part. Okay. a cube plus b cube as a plus b times, I'm going to write it here, a square minus ab plus b squared. Okay. So, let us solve it further. Here we have a plus b times a minus b. Is that right? So, I'm going to put the values here. I'll get x plus 2 times x minus 2. And here, I'm going to get, I have minus. So, I'm going to put that minus. Then I have a plus b. Right, so I'm going to write x plus 2 times, then I have this, a square minus ab plus b square. So a square is x square minus 2x plus 4. All right, that's equal to 0. Now let me take x plus 2 common from both equations. I'll get x plus 2, taking out common, I'm left with x minus 2 here, and here I'm left with x square minus 2x plus 4 is equal to 0. Okay, now I'm going to open up the bracket inside. So I have x plus 2, x plus 2, then I have x minus 2, then minus x squared, minus of minus plus 2x, minus of plus minus 4 is equal to 0. Okay, so I have x plus 2, and then I have negative x squared. I'm going to write that first. Then two plus 2x plus x. So I'll have plus 3x. Then negative 2, negative 4. That's negative 6 is equal to 0. Okay. Then what I have to do next is I've got two values. Let me uh, take, okay, the first value which I've got is x plus 2 is equal to 0 and the next value which I've got is negative x squared plus 3x minus 6 is equal to 0. Let me divide this by negative 1. Okay. 
So when I divide this by negative 1, I'll get x squared minus 3x plus 6 is equal to 0. Okay, so here I need to find the values. Here. x is equal to negative 2. That's one value of x. Now I need to find two more values because the power here is 2, the quadratic equation. We need to solve this. So let's use quadratic formula. What's your formula? x is equal to negative b plus or minus under the root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. That's equal to negative of negative 3 plus or minus under the root of negative 3 the whole square. Okay minus 4 times a is 1 and b uh, c is 6 over 2 times 1 so here i have negative of negative 3 positive 3 plus or minus under the root of 3 squared 9 minus 4 times 6 24 over 2 okay so what do i get here 3 plus or minus under the root of negative 15 over 2. That's equal to 3 plus square root of 15i over 2. And one more value is 3 minus square root of 15i over 2. So this is one value, this is one value, and this is another value. So there are a total of three values of x which you've got, right? So let us see. Let's substitute x is equal to negative 2, which we got here in this equation. So what do we get? Let's see here. The equation is x squared minus x cubed is equal to 12, isn't it? Okay. And the value which we got here is x is equal to negative 2. Let's check if that's true for the value of negative 2. Negative 2 the whole square minus negative 2 the whole cube is equal to 12. So that's just equal to 4 minus of minus 8 is equal to 12. 4 plus 8 is 12 is equal to 12. So the value of x is true. x is equal to negative 2 satisfies this equation. And the other two equations are complex. Other two solutions are complex. So this is how we solve this equation. I hope you have uh, you understood it. And... I'm very excited guys, iPhone 15 is, uh, iPhone 16 Pro, iPhone 16 is going to launch and um, there's one more thing going on. Uh, so I want your, uh, your answers in the comments. Uh, who's going to be the next one for the presidents this time in uh, USA? Will it be Donald Trump or Kamala Harris? So do let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for joining. Bye-bye. Take care.